First of all, thank you very much for the opportunity. I was actually not an invited guest here. I came for a different purpose and to meet your minister. And he asked me to share my experience. I'm from Kerala. And uh, I can say, unfortunately, I'm forced to come out of Kerala because we have invested uh, almost uh, 3,000 crores in Kerala due to the political system, political harassment. I was thrown out from Kerala. We employed more than 15,000 people in Kerala, but Kerala didn't recognize our value. I don't know anybody in this audience, you know, any Keralaites here? Okay. So I'm happy to see that, you know, at least one Keralaite. Maybe uh, from today, another five years' time, you will find a lot of Keralaites in this. <laughs> I'm working with uh, the minister, you know, in Kerala. We are also planning for a meeting in Kerala like this. A lot of people are uh, frustrated, I can say. And uh, they don't have any opportunity. Uh, my father uh, started this business in 1968. We started with the 10 employees. Now we are employed uh, more than 15,000 people in various fields, right from aluminum business, spices business, textile business, garment business. I'm heading garment business, exporting to America, only to America. And we are shipping almost a million pieces of infant garments to America every day. But still, Our government didn't recognize us. I'm forced to come over here. They harassed me in one month, toll rates in my factory. So I got invitation from various part of India, most of the chief ministers, chief secretaries, industries ministers called me. But I got a call one day from the minister here, your minister, he said, uh, I want to invite you to Telangana. I said, okay, fine. So I said, due to COVID, I cannot travel now. So he said, don't worry. I will send you a private jet. I said, are you sure? Are you joking? He said, I'm serious. You tell me, 24 hours, either the flight will be there. He did it. <laughs> and finally, 21 August 9th, we landed, eight people landed in a private jet in Tenangana airport. We are taken to the Kakatiya Mega Textile Park by helicopter. We visited, came back. I never, never expected in my life such a treatment like, you know, what he did to me. Without even consulting anybody, that day evening, I committed 1,000 crores investment with the 4,000 employment. One of the things I want to address here, that day evening, I met him in his residence. I asked him, sir, you are looking for investment or employment? Within seconds, he answered to me, I'm looking for employment. That is his commitment to the state and the people of Telangana. I really appreciate. I think we should. And next day, again, he shown me some other land in Siddharampur. I was very happy. Then I increased my investment from 1,000 crores to 2,000 crores. Then finally, we made the agreement. I increased to 2,400 crores. Now, today morning, I committed to him 3,000 crores. So, my first project, 
is already almost on completion. I think I hope we can inaugurate by June, July. He wanted uh, uh, in March, April next month, but it's not possible. But we are going to give employment more than 28,000 people in Telangana. So the most important thing here, you know, we are not, we are giving employment 80 percentage to the women and unskilled people because the textile industry, we don't need any skilled people. We are going to give training to the people and I hope within three years or five years time today, we are going to ship 2.5 million pieces of infant garments to American market. That means whatever we produce in Telangana, you will not find a single child without wearing garment produced in Telangana state in America. So again, I appreciate, we expect a minister like him in Kerala. And even otherwise, you know, we are planning most of the Malayalis or Keralites, I think they will move to Telangana in the near future. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And I think I really wish you all, you know, blessed with uh, a great minister like him. And I hope I want to bring more business in Kerala, you know, to Telangana and more business from Malayali uh, society. They live in America. A lot of people are asking me about Telangana and the, you know, how they treat. So far, everything is fine. We have a fantastic atmosphere. All the offices, all the department, they all behaving like, you know, they are treating like, you know, very, very well. So thank you very much for everyone and uh, for the opportunity given to me. Thank you.